Hi guys, it's Evelina here. Today I have two super special guests. Very special, very special. One of them is Ritushku and the other is Dani. Hi. <laughs> they are my super close friends and I just love them so much and I'm really so happy to have them here today with me. They are a little shy because they never record videos, they're not super comfy, but they are superstars, I know already. <laughs> I can cut it. <laughs> we are blushing. <laughs> so there are many, many special things about them I could say, but I'm just going to say a few. First of all is that they live in this beautiful land in the middle of the nature in Hungary, and they just do such a incredible things. They are just making their dreams come true. They're not being afraid or just doing something really different than usually most of us, let's say in our 20s, 30s, feel comfortable to do. They just really stepped so much out of their comfort zone and made this beautiful home. Dani made the home with his own hands. Ritushku is creating so many, so much magic in here. I just can talk and talk, but let's move into some little questions so we can get to know them better and their vision. All right, so maybe you can just tell us first where are we and how did you decide to move even in here into this countryside? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here, first of all. So we live in Hungary in a very small village of like 350 people. And we found this land out of good luck, I guess, because we were just setting intention that we want to find our own home eventually settling down yeah. in a place and not to move around that much because we did in our previous life, <laughs> this life, but previously. And we ended up finding this property actually because of Tony's father who moved in the area and uh, we were visiting him. So we were just in the neighborhood and then some neighbor was telling him about this property being maybe able to buy, mm. but not listed. And yeah. then we just came and it was perfect as it is. So we had a we had yeah. a list what we exactly wanted, uh, how the land should look like, and what properties it should have, and uh, all of them were actually here. All of them were already on the land, and we even have uh, a well, like a spring well, mm. on the property itself, very close to our house. Like which, with the drinking water. With yes. the drinking water, which we can use mm. uh, for the house. And, uh, and, and it was it's just, magic. And yeah. it, it's magic, yeah. It's next to a forest, which were our dream to live by, to, close yeah. to the nature. Actually, part of your land is a forest. Like, we yeah. just yeah. had yeah. a walk yeah. there. We were picking up some cherries straight from the tree and watching how many different trees, different plants, different species of life are everywhere there. We saw some deer, some fox, so many different animals are living here. So it's really amazing. Like how big is the land? Because it's a really huge piece of land. It's uh, close to three, three hectares. hectares. 27,000 square meters, is it? 28 ish. Yeah. <laughs> I just really love also the way how they decided, being so young, to just come here, move into this beautiful piece of land, build their house. And like, I mean, you were born in Budapest, right? And then we met with Ritushku in. India. Yeah, in India. We met in Rishikesh, in Rishikesh mm -hmm. when we were doing our first yoga teacher training. Then we both moved to Dubai, as actually Ritushku was joining the Emirates to start to work as a stewardess, and then I joined right after her. So that's like really amazing how we were traveling all around the world, being in all these different cities, places, and then you just decided like you want to get closer to nature, I guess, and just get back into your roots, into your own country, or... Can you tell us something about that? Exactly, it was like that. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Dubai made the last push to want to be closer to nature because I already felt the mm. need to be. Uh, like I told you the story that in high school we were having this camp every summer mm. in the nature without any electricity or water running. And, and it was just giving me this really great feeling to, to be together in community, to be close mm. to nature, to be able to provide everything for us. It was a very nice experience and it stuck with me and then I was hoping and I was thinking that maybe in my old age I will have this piece of land and I will enjoy once I mm. lived all this long life and then Danny came and 
and he had this vision also and he was making it possible to do it before we are getting old like we don't have to wait until yeah. we are retired like we can just do it straight ahead like he was the one who told me that you know i'm already retired i'm doing what i like so it's not like i'm working and he was a big influence in being able to have this braveness to come and move outside like you know like like we actually had to peace have find a piece of land of our home somewhere and it was yeah. yeah we didn't know where it would be but then we found each other and it came the property came to us which is exactly. beautiful <laughs> <laughs> wow so many people were just like i also have the similar dream to have somewhere piece of land and to create my retreat space because that's also what they are dreaming of creating some place for community for retreats which i can ask you soon also about <laughs> but yeah what is the problem for like in my head the first thing is like whoa where to start how to find the place how to even start to look for the place properly because it's just so confusing and like if you keep looking online for the different properties this is just like you're in the ocean of you know like so many different issues are coming to you and so it's really amazing how you say you just found each other and it kind of came yeah. to you Yes. And Danny so, had experience on this field because he was actually looking for properties almost all mm. his adult life, right? Yes, I had a couple of uh, like houses here and there, and <laughs> I was doing some refurbishment on houses and and sold them. But I ho always had this grand vision of what I would like to create with someone I'm in love with <laughs> so we can actually create together we can plan it together and we can we can manage the whole bit together and it's not just two of us now it's four of us because we have two little kids <laughs> so we have two boys <laughs> so we actually we making this whole um, plan together so what's uh, the plan what would you like to do here <laughs> <laughs> well, so many plans. <laughs> so many plans we have, but uh, it's first, alive, yeah. yeah. First of all, we we really wanted to uh, going off the grid as much as possible, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's a long way for us for sure because we're still experimenting with with many uh, solutions. Mm. What can be done and how is it possible? Uh, even with the well water, how to pump into the house and have it pressurized all the time. So much about <laughs> learning and experimenting mm. and we learn from our own uh, mistakes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, at least we started and, uh, and we're doing it all together. So it's like, it's like a family project. Mm. And, and, and the lifelong project, and, it and will be. Project, yeah. <laughs> so no rush. We don't want to rush anymore. <laughs> that, that we decided. We want to have like a slower paced life. Yeah. yeah. Chill, peace. Chill, peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not at the moment with two little boys, but soon enough we will, yeah, yeah like we will. We were ground into this land. Yeah, and, and we were event actually looking for a property which is about one hectare, mm -hmm. which we were discussing. Yeah, it's quite manageable for us to mm -hmm. maintain and start gardening and do like maybe food forestry uh, style. But this property was sold. It's it many many property lands owned together, yeah. together oh. and. Uh, they wanted to sell us like the one in one piece. Mm. So it's actually three, three hectares, it's close to three hectares. And uh, we were scared that the Yeah, it was overwhelming, like, overwhelming in the beginning. Uh, I was seeing myself old age, like pushing this mower <laughs> for the three hectare on, on the land, on the slope. We were just thinking about it step by step. Yeah. I, I just told you, right? Like you don't have to mow the lawn in this old, this land. Like we can just leave it how it is and there's just, pick the small portion for our family in the beginning and just go from step to step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can imagine Gradually. it can be overwhelming if you look at all this huge, like mm -hmm. we were just walking here and it's just like never ending. There's so much land, so, so, so much just all around. So I think like if you look at all of it, it's like, oh my God, how can I manage it? But yeah, if you're yeah. doing like step by step, I guess, how you started easy. already, Danny built the house with his own hands and he just keeps expanding it, building it. And this is so amazing like for me to see something like that. And you were never learning, actually. You didn't study on how to build really, right? No, or... I'm actually a programmer, so I have no uh, 
qualification of buildings, but everything you can find on on internet how to do it. So that's how I actually am learn. Um, and that's yeah, if you really it want <laughs> anything in life, you can do it. You know, just, you just have to practice, right? You just have to practice and, and do your own mistakes and uh, and have a great vision what you can go towards. Um, mm. Yeah. <laughs> You made it so beautiful, this house. <laughs> and it's really filled with love. <laughs> Thank you. And it's amazing because every day Dani is working on, on the house, on the second part of the house which they are currently building. And I just enter the place and I say, oh God, what are you doing today? And he's telling me, oh, electricity here and there or plastering, which I don't really know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you're telling me that. <laughs> so yeah, every time he tells me something what he's doing today and I'm like my god but how do you know how to do all of it how do you know how to build the house it's a step-by-step -step project yeah it's like very first time when i i knew nothing about how to um, do plumbing work mm. and one of my best friends just told me you have to just see where the water is coming fr from and where does it needs to go and that's it, that's too little yeah. part. If you just do one by one or step by step, you eventually build like a whole system of you know, wow. plumbing in the house. The <laughs> system. And it, it, it's really nice. Yeah. And it's applied to everything in life, right? Like you don't have to always just see this huge picture yeah. and do it instantly. You can just take your own time and, and, and do the small parts. Yeah. Step yeah. by step, and that's how yeah, you do. And then it doesn't mm. seem so overwhelming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to have a great vision, I believe, where you actually want to go in life, and then you figure it out the way how to yeah. reach there. It unfolds, and you can enjoy the <laughs> the ride. The ride. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your great vision? Great <laughs> vision. We want to experiment with permaculture and uh, food forest. Uh, for the bottom part of our property, which is about two hectares. Basically, there's many parts of it. So slowly, slowly, we would uh, evolve into an educational center, place, center. Yeah. Basically, we would like to have some kind of community coming back to here, yeah. e either with families or individuals also, and just to be able for them to reboot themselves, to come out to nature with us and, yeah. and maybe teach something to us as well, something new, make some retreats. Like we would also like to create a space for for some different kind of retreats or even like family camps, I was thinking mm. like, yeah. just to gather and, you know, get knowledge together, just celebrate life together, whatever comes like. Yeah, we can all learn uh, together about uh, permaculture. Or, yeah, do that or as well. Food forestry or um about yoga practice about so yeah about what matters in life <laughs> everything so also our kids could like see these these people coming here teaching about life like mm. all parts of life basically and then we would build the structure for it so that's the is the material part of it that we have to build like maybe a, a big yoga shala where we could gather or or small structures here and there where the people could stay so so that's why it's a long-term project and maybe it's a lifelong project because I think it will even never be finished fully. It will yeah. always be evolving. evolving. Yeah, 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 for sure. It will evolve along with our kids growing up as well and being able to take their parts <laughs> however they want to be included in all that. And, and yeah, just people visiting us. Like we, we love to have our home here, but we, we need connections. We love connecting with people and we want them to come and maybe share their knowledge and spread their love around here as well yeah. and yeah, we could just talk. yeah it could be like an education center and uh, it could be like a place where other teachers could come and and pass yeah. on their yeah. knowledge mm. uh, it can be a place for finding your own truth within you like <laughs> we planning to be a, a, a dark retreat center as well what is the dark retreat maybe you can explain it, it's basically a small structure which is uh, kind of similar to earth ships you mm. have this dome shape uh, okay. it's a small place you go in and it's completely dark um, and you just there 
by yourself in the dark for a couple of days mm. and uh, you you basically lose connection of uh, the outside world you don't see any lights coming in so you don't know whether it's like mm. morning or evening so you lose track of time and uh, you, you can only hear your own thoughts it's a very transformative experience right it is yeah it's it goes really deep within mm. you can uh, you can have so much happening with you within the dark mm. of while you're sitting there for longer period of time without any ex extraction wow um so it's it's a really really good experience and uh, i would like to share this uh, experience with others too where did you experience it for the first time yourself uh, I attended uh, the Star Kitchen in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Okay. I was there for uh, three nights, four days, which mm. which were really good and intense, and it changed me and my thinking of life for uh, quite a bit. Mm. <laughs> and soon after we met. <laughs> soon after. Yes, <laughs> and actually, it was it's a funny story that. If you want to share that, yeah. Time. So it's in many things happening with you uh, during this period. Mm -hmm. You open up. You you basically uh, connect more with yourself. You can channel information through. So I actually had an insight about uh, I'm going to meet uh, the one I'm looking for, <laughs> <laughs> and it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. I'm so happy. Okay, so what advice could you give to young people who are like looking for themselves, who want to live closer to nature, who want to make their dreams come true? They are searching for something different than is being brought to us by society of how you're supposed to live your life and just living more freely, like like you are following your dreams. What would be your advice? <laughs> we kind of came up with a similar answer to this question that we realized that very, very, very important is to be honest with yourself. First of all, like what you want in life, what are your desires? Very honestly, like without any judgment or, or like pressure, pressure from society from, yeah. or, or outer inputs, like just that's why it's very important to sit maybe in silence in some time or take your own time to explore the world because then you will have some moments when you will find these answers. It was very important for me to travel and also for Dani, I guess, to go out in the world and experience new things. Yeah. Then you see if it's for you or it's not for you. And then you decide it for yourself. Is it this my path which I want to go forward to? So yeah, your desires basically are leading the way. You just have to follow your heart and whatever whatever your intuition is leading you but sometimes it can seem super rocky and weird to follow that path but it actually always turns out to be great eventually it's leading you towards the direction which you you wanted to go mm. but yeah our, our our journey was very very weird um, some some points of our lives were very distracting and then we were just coming back to where we wanted yeah. to be and now we are here like we found each other which is the biggest thing we can ask for like yeah. i think it's also very important to find someone who can support your vision or support your dreams like for us in this relationship we really feel supported like we feel yeah. like we have this aim together like we are together yeah. for the world and yeah and yeah we just we just have very similar things that we would like to I don't know, create or live. You have to be clear about what you really want for life. And first of all, who are you and what's your desires? And just follow that, uh, that vision. Authenticity. Authenticity. Yeah, Transparency. It's very, yeah, it's very important. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have that before, I guess. We weren't knowing ourselves so much that it, it got us distracted from life and it was just you you didn't even realize because you can live this illusion of you're you're doing well and you're on your path but in the same time you have this deep deep voice in you mm. like crying for 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 the truth i but don't you're know you're just shutting yeah. it down but you're shutting it out you're like no no that's <laughs> not convenient let's not do that and then 
it just bursts out and then you find yourself crying without knowing what is going on or not crying but like some weird emotion comes up and then you realize okay there is something there which mm. needs to come up and then just deal we you have to deal with it like yeah. deal with your own shit like really <laughs> like just be okay with having heavy emotions as well and just start to untangle them like i don't know and then it will lead you to something more peaceful more more subtle something more truthful yeah and, and, and do the things you love doing yeah and, and that's, i think it's very important because then you give your full power you passionate about and and you enjoy every second of it and and we are doing it that's our passion that's our life that's our <laughs> thing <laughs> so we have to find what what what's suitable for you in, in this life and and yeah where you wanna evolve basically mm, yeah just accepting who you are really and what you want to represent in this world i think it's very important to acceptance and following your own truth so many advice <laughs> 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 but just basically just yeah, summarize just follow, follow, follow. Follow. so to summarize the advice just, is <laughs> okay to summarize well in, in short sentence just follow your dreams basically follow your heart yeah follow your it, heart it knows yeah. everything exactly like, yeah it tries to convince your mind about something but follow your heart follow yeah, your heart that's follow it. your heart you learn i like it i know it's a cliche but it's so true like we have to go through our life to experience it being so true yeah yeah awesome <laughs> Thank you so much. I know both of you. you, you are amazing. I love, love you. <laughs> and I cannot wait to come back here in five years, ten years, God knows, and make another video, 50 years, and we will oh see God. what they created here. Thank I love you, you so much. Thank we you love so you. Much. Thank you for being here with us. Lots of you. <laughs> Привет, камера. Супер. 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 Супер.